family and friends and fellow YouTubers, it's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner and today I'm at the Hancock Homestead and I thought that I would do a pantry chat. I have two YouTubers that I watch, Homestead Tessie and Little Village Homestead and they are always doing pantry chats which I thoroughly enjoy so I thought that I would do a pantry chat and I'm going to start out by giving you a tour of our pantry. So here we go. Okay friends, so I thought I would give you a tour of my pantry. I say jokingly because as you are about to see my pantry is also uh, the laundry room and the catch-all room. But when you live in a small house as we do, you have to make the best use of your space. So here we go. Um, as you walk in the back door, there is a utility room. Okay, and in this utility room, we have a black desk, and in the bottom drawer, I have all of the animal supplies the shampoos, the leashes, the brushes, uh, some medicines. And then in the second drawer up, that one there, we have electrical cords, extension cords, you know, all those cords you end up with. And then in the top drawer here is where John has started storing like caulking material, glues, electrical tape, earplugs, um, wood glue. My headlight is in there for uh, whenever I uh, cut chicken wing feathers. So yeah, so this is our catch-all desk. And like you can see, we're going to be painting something white. So there's our paint <laughs> next to my cookbooks. And then there are the egg baskets right close hand so I can grab them as I'm walking out the door to go get the eggs. But um, I do have my cookbooks and my canning books in here. I have my cookie cutters. There's some laundry materials, laundry supplies. I have my cleaning supplies are stored in here. And then, as you can see, I do have canning equipment. Uh, there's my pressure canner. Here are some of the extra jars that we have used up through the year. And then up above is a shelf devoted to my canning equipment. Um, I have my water bath canners. I have my uh, blanching pot. I have my food grinder. I have my food slicer. I have some extra stock pots that I used to specifically for canning. Um, we keep our plastic buckets in here for gathering the fruits, the vegetables, um, sometimes for freezing things. So that is mostly my canning shelf right there of my equipment. And then on the other side of the room is John's shelf where he keeps the things for the house. Um, he does our own bug protection because we have a basement. It's not bug proof, so he makes sure that we are bugless in here. He has a house cleaner. He has cleaning supplies for the cars, so he can keep them clean and running nicely. And then down below that shelf, of course, we have our washer and dryer. So, this is our laundry room slash catch-all room slash my pantry okay as you go around the corner there is a closet door here and inside this closet was the water heater but about two years ago John took the water heater out and moved it downstairs to the basement put in this here shelving unit and this is where I keep my canned goods and some of my dry goods and some of my extra uh, cans of food that I may not have room for in the kitchen cabinets. And then also we have um, some extra jars and this is my canning utensils right down in there. Some extra noodles. The vinegar is down there too. Canning rings. And then we also have to keep the cat food in here because our cat is a little piggy 
and we'll actually tear a hole through the bag to get to the food. <laughs> so we keep it in this closet. So that is a tour of my pantry. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed my tour. And as you can see, uh, my pantry is somewhat spread out just a little bit. Uh, Tessie from Homestead Tessie and Renee from uh, Little Village Homestead, they are able to devote a whole room to their pantry and they keep all their canning uh, supplies and their equipment and their canned goods and their dry goods all in these beautifully decorated rooms. And then they have their chats. And I think that's just great. But if you're like me and you live in a small space and you don't have a whole room to devote like that, you can still can. You can still enjoy that part of homesteading. You just might have to think outside the box like, where am I able to store my canning equipment? And as you see, we had to take over part of the laundry room and put up a special shelf. Where am I able to store my canned goods? And as you can see, we devoted a closet to the canned goods. Now, we used to keep this stuff down in the basement because we do have a basement. And uh, we used to keep our canning supplies and our canned goods downstairs. But as I've aged, my knees have become bad and John's hips sometimes give him trouble. So instead of climbing up and down those steps all the time, we decided to move our pantry upstairs. And so uh, we had to think what can, you know, what space can we devote to our pantry area. And as you can see, I think we did a pretty good job of coming up with some areas. Now, um, I know I had a friend one time that she did so much canning, she would store her canned goods under the beds. <laughs> she would just have to remember, under this bed I have my fruits, and under this bed are the vegetables, and under this bed are all the sauces, and so on, and, and that's how uh, she stored her uh, canned goods. So just think outside the box when it comes to your canning needs, and I'm sure that you can figure something out. And uh, I want to challenge other YouTubers out there, uh, other homesteaders, to uh, take this time in February and give us a tour of your pantry. It's too cold outside to do much else, so let's show off our pantries. Let's show people that if you are really interested in canning, there is a way. Um, and then also at this time, I want to share with you some of my goals for the homestead and for my channel. And for the homestead, my goals this year are very simple. Um, I want to continue the garden, increase the garden size. As you can see uh, from our videos last fall, we put up some trellises in which I hope to grow some um, pickling cucumbers because I want to make some um, pickles and some bread and butter pickles, some dill pickles, and so we have uh, trellises to grow those up on, and perhaps some green beans. And I've always wanted to do gourds because I like to do arts and crafts, and I always wanted to look into doing the birdhouses. And then the other thing that I really want to devote my time to in the garden this year are beets. And I know I've said for the last couple of years now that I really want to can beets. And there's always been something that has come up. So I want to grow some beets and can beets this year, just like my mother did. Then the other uh, homesteading goal that I have for this year is our, um, I want to increase our orchard size. We used to have many trees in our orchard, and over the years, they have been damaged by winds or damaged by diseases, and we've had to cut them down, or Mother Nature has just taken its course and they have died. And so we really need to replace a lot of the trees in our uh, orchard. And so I want to put in some apple trees, and I want to put in the cherry trees, and I want to put in some pear trees, and um, I'd like to put in another nut tree somewhere. We also had two large um, blue spruces uh, out on the west side of our house. 
and uh, they just kind of added to the character of our homestead and those uh, became so old and so damaged that we had to cut them down a few years back. So I really want to get in a couple more blue spruces to replace those. So I'm going to call this the year of the tree. <laughs> and uh, if I can get that done, then I will be happy. Um, our poultry we will hang on to and uh, maybe add some ducks. I'm going to kind of play that by ear. We'll just wait and see. Um, because I really uh, want to get the tree issue addressed first. So that is uh, my goal for the homestead. Now my goals for the channel um, is a very simple one, and that is to increase my viewers' watch time. I have a pretty good subscriber base. I have about 2,500 subscribers. So um, that's not too bad for a small channel like myself. However, those subscribers are just not watching. And I would like to get at least a 10% viewing base. And so that would mean that for every video, I would have 250 views because 10% of 2,500 would be 250. So if I could get at least 250 views per video, Oh, that would just make me so happy. And I know I can do it if we just get the word out that, hey, she's back and she's putting out consistent content and her content is getting better and she's learning how to video better. And, you know, if we can just spread the word that, um, that I'm back and I'm hoping to do more consistent videoing. Um, I know last year I only got out about half the videos as I did the year before. And the year before that, um, I had some issues going on, but I am now adapting to my situation and uh, hope to get out more consistent content. So please help me spread the word to, to your friends that, hey, she's back, and uh, go watch her, okay? Because I'd like to get at least that 10% viewing. All right, and, um, and then my other goal, of course, is to put out more consistent content and better content. I think we all look for that. And, and I wore my special snowman shirt for you guys so that we could celebrate this polar vortex we're having. Uh, I think it's supposed to be over for us in a day or two. But until then, we'll just hibernate and act happy, okay? <laughs> I, I've had to have my happy light on quite a bit because, oh my goodness, these cold temperatures are really getting to me. In fact, that's why I haven't been on for the past couple of days because I've had a migraine. This weather really affects me physically and I've had a migraine for two days and just have not felt like putting out video. But here I am and, and um, happy to be back and happy to talk to you guys. And So, uh, like I was saying, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to know more about my corner of the world, whether it's here at the homestead or down at my brother's or visiting my children, uh, please come back and stay tuned. And please um, share my videos. Share my videos to your family, to your friends, anyone who might enjoy my channel and uh, help me get my view count up, okay? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.